What's going on America? It's Ben from JK Gear and Gadgets. Happy 4th of July. Uh, today's video, I actually got reminded by somebody that I've never done a video on my Factor 55 flat link. Uh, I've had it on the Jeep for a long time, but I think I did it before I even made the YouTube channel. Had it for a while. Uh, that could be wrong. I don't know. I've never made a video on it though. I did a full walk around of my Jeep the other day and somebody was like, hey, you know, can you do a, a review or like little install, just a video on the Factor 55? So it's gonna be a really quick, simple video. Uh, so I went ahead and took it off and put the, the hook that comes with the winch back on. So I'll zoom in, show you guys this, talk a little bit about why the Factor 55 is a good idea. Uh, it's definitely not for everybody. A lot of people don't see the benefit in them and other people do so they look awesome they're really not that expensive and the safety and added benefits of a factor 55 is uh worth it in my mind so let's talk about it all right so here we have our typical winch hook setup um some actually have a little cotter pin and another pin that pulls off others are actually forged on to your winch line so the only way to actually remove this on some would be to get a grinder or a sawzall and cut it off completely. Um, but the one that came with my worn winch uh, just had a cotter pin and is easily removable. Most people typically store it right over here to their shackle mount and then spool it in. Um, it doesn't look good, I don't think, and it leaves your winch line exposed. So if you're coming up against rocks or mud, eventually this is gonna get chafed and break. Also, the little clasp on these are extremely cheesy so if you're ever winching um, and you know a side load occurs this is not gonna keep a line from coming out of here it's extremely flimsy and cheap so factor 55 they called a closed winch closed winching system and what you do is this hole right here completely eliminates the hook you would simply use a shackle put the shackle bolt through here and I'll uh, demonstrate that in a minute once I put it back on um, there's many models of this. This one's actual, uh, actually the Factor 55 flat link. Um, they have the Ultra Hook, the Pro Link, the flat link like this, and they make a lot of other products. The Factor 55 house, 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 however you want to say it. And I mean, the list goes on and on. They make all types of products, all made in America, you know, nice grade aluminum, but that's enough talking about it. You know, if you want to do some research on it, I highly suggest it. But to install these, all we're going to do is remove our current winch hook, either by like this, if yours is like this, or cutting it off completely, ditch in. And then we're going to grab our new Factor 55 product, or you know, whichever one you go with. We're going to put it right here through the eye, grab the pin that comes with it, slide it down in, and then it comes with a little snap ring. So we'll need snap ring pliers. Um, mine's used, I take it, I've taken it off a few times, so I can pretty much just push it down in until it pops in the groove there. And I'll show you guys in a minute. Now that it's in, I'm just gonna use my snap ring. So just pull it out, free spool. I'll let the uh, camera focus a little bit. All right, so you can see the snap ring in there. And we're pretty much just gonna make sure it sits in the groove. Um, a little, mess with a little bit, but it's pretty much sitting in the groove there. So as you can tell, snap ring sits inside there and that's what holds it on. Um, like I said, I've had this on there for quite a while now. As you can tell, it is used. Uh, it's been beat up on rocks. Factor 55 makes, um, you know, aluminum plate that goes over here in case you don't want to worry about chafing or breaking your winch line here. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and grab my remote and suck it on in and show you guys how it sits. This is a lot better than having the, the old winch hook wrapped over to your shackle. So I do have a normal remote, uh, the wired uh, remote, but I actually have a wireless one too. Uh, I included this in one of my videos a while ago, but it's pretty neat because I have the remote and then the little thing that plugs into the uh, the winch. Let's go show you that. But I found a neat mounting space for it right here on the grab bar. It mounts right up there. Doesn't fall out because it has a little clip up here. But you, I mean, you can almost even leave it here while you're inside winching in and out. 
So uh, I'm not going to do that though. Let me just go ahead into the front of the Jeep and we'll spool this winch in a little bit. So as you can tell, one of the benefits of the flat link is that you can suck it right up against your fair lead. Um, it's out of the way. It will take a few hits, but I mean, honestly, it's just gonna chip the paint, no big deal. I like it, it works great, easy to install, and I mean, it just, it looks a lot better. They sell them in a lot of different colors. I went with red naturally, but let me show you guys how to actually use this flat link with a uh, shackle. What you're gonna do is get a shackle, either from you know a spare in your Jeep or the one on your bumper. You're gonna take the pin off first. <laughs> get whatever rope or recovery you're gonna use, put that through the shackle, then put the shackle on the Factor 55. And you're gonna tighten it up. And once it's set up like this, there's no way for this to separate. There's no way it's gonna go through a hook, break the hook. These Factor 55 products are a lot stronger than anything else on the market. Uh, on their Facebook, they do the load test all the time and show you the numbers. But, I mean, it works good for attaching a winch line extension or if we wanted to use this as a tree strap, you know, double it back through. That's one of the benefits. The other models I was talking about, like the Ultra Hook, it does have a hook for uh, situations where you just really need to winch, you know, hook it up quick, but it also has the option for the closed system winching. So. That's about it. That's all I'm gonna really talk about for this video. So as you guys can tell, it's an extremely simple product. It works, it's a lot safer, and it makes the front end look a lot better. Um, I'd recommend it. Like I said, I've had mine for a while, well over a year. It's taken some hits, but uh, you know I've used it a handful of times. I really like them. I'd recommend them. I'll throw a link to them in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to check out the rest of my videos. Give this one a thumbs up subscribe I'm um, always trying to put out new types of Jeep content whether it's install videos reviews off-roading videos or just anything Jeep related in general um, so thanks for watching guys uh, happy fourth if you're watching this today and uh, you know stay tuned for more videos thanks